Hey guys, we're going to be looking at economic reasons for using computers. In other words, uh, making money or saving money. It's always one of those two, okay? So, let's have a look. First of all, the first reason for using a computer is it saves paper. Yes, it does. It saves paper and forests and trees and all kinds of things. That's because everything is digital nowadays, so we don't need to print as much as we did in the past, and so there is less waste because of it. Saves paper. Also, saves on labor costs. Now, obviously it saves on labor costs, because let's have a look at this video. Uh, this is in a car manufacturing plant, and as you can see, um, I don't see any human beings in this picture. Have a look. There's nobody. There's no human beings in this picture. So, um, Fewer humans saving money, so you don't have to pay so many salaries. And there's, of course, there is the flip side to that, okay, but anyway. Computers have a different work ethic, and that is why you also save some money, because computers and robots don't stop working. They'll just keep going. They'll just keep making cars forever. Another reason is it reduces communication costs. So have a look at this picture. We have this guy over here, and he's busy presenting something, okay? And he's presenting via the cloud, the internet, and it's coming over here to these people sitting somewhere else in a boardroom having a lovely cup of hot chocolate or coffee or hot chocolate, and that's all happening. He's not even there in the same room as them. So that actually is pretty cool because travel is curbed. In other words, people don't have to travel as much as they used to. It's not necessary because of online meetings. We can have online meetings now, saving us a heck of a lot of money because you don't have to go anywhere. The technology that often allows us to do this is called VoIP. Say VoIP like a couple of times, it's quite funny. It's actually voice over internet protocol. VoIP? It's quite funny. Well, I think it's funny. Okay. <clears throat> now, a, another reason that we are using computers and economic reasons is because of the efficiency of machines and robots. Look at this thing, okay? It's a, I don't know what it is. It's got like a, it can grab stuff and and then move things and pick things up and s sort things, pack things into the right boxes and all kinds of stuff. It's actually incredibly remarkable, the technology that allows it. Now, this machine is super efficient. It does not make mistakes. It is clever that way, and it just keeps going. And it will go on and on and on until you tell it to stop. A thousand items per hour. Good grief, man. So it doesn't make any mistakes. It is consistent. Another reason for using computers to save money or make money is because of their accuracy and their reliability. So here you have an example of a computer system. There is the program telling the computer what it's going to do with the 3D structure. There's the actual model being made by a computer and a drill or thing, a drill thing. And that is pretty darn scary um, how incredibly accurate that is. And that'll just keep going. It won't stop until you stop it. So computers are able to perform repetitive tasks. They don't ask for breaks. They don't get tired. They are much faster than a normal person, okay? And uh, they never ask for a raise. That's the kind of worker you want. No, maybe not. Okay. In terms of business and educational use of computers, well, I mean, computers help us to do things like facilitating communication online. They allow us to share information efficiently. We have all of our resources are online. We can digitize all of our processes and procedures that take place. And all of this thing speeds up the way businesses run. And schools as well. I mean, think about schools. All your stuff's online. Your textbooks, your resources, it makes things a lot easier as well. Something that you might hear a lot about is something called cryptocurrency or digital currency, okay? That is a symbol or a logo for a Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin is a digital currency, and if you have not heard about it, I have included some extra resources for you in your notebook. It's not standardized like a normal currency. It's actually what we call decentralized, okay? It uses a digital wallet. I'll explain that in a minute, but it's digital, so it's not a, a tangible currency that you can hold on. It uses block blockchain technology, okay? Blockchain 
the blockchain technology and that is not as complicated as it might sound again I've included a video explaining this in your notebook as well in the resources section and the digital wallet is simply software and hardware it's actually a, a software application that runs but then it needs the hardware to process things uh, I've put enough information on the, your workbook for you but uh, there you go. Those are just some of the reasons that we use computers in terms of economic reasons.